Oh if you God, add all this terrible. up from eight years ago, here's the thing, it's kind of crazy. I could kind of see some Republicans voting for him. Is this indicative of a guy who's always been consistent? And something else, let's say for a second that that premise, uh, let's say it had some truth to it, right? right. That he was, yeah. But doesn't that mean that you have someone who was a professional couch server who was never gainfully employed for his entire life, and if he didn't change any opinions by the time he's 98, <laughs> doesn't that just mean that you haven't learned anything? You can't exactly. really have it both ways. <laughs> I want to talk about something today. I want to start a campaign to make Bernie Sanders based again. So hashtag, let me explain the context. Mm, yes, mm. hashtag make Bernie based again. Uh, question of the day. Bernie is often portrayed as being sort of a strong candidate because of his consistency. Okay. We've heard that a lot. He's been very yeah, consistent. Supposedly. He hasn't flip-flopped. Yeah, right. He's been about the same thing his whole life. But but is he? Oh, yeah. is he? Yeah. I mean, is he really consistent? Tell me, mm. on which issues do you think Bernie Sanders is most consistent? And what do you really like about him most or dislike if you're a Republican or Democrat? I'm, I'm genuinely curious, but I, I just have to pull at the thread a little bit that he's been very consistent. We'll go through the flips and the flops. And I'm, and I, I'm not, t I was going to make a hair joke, but so I don't want to start this no. off with horrible hair no. jokes. You're going to see the brow. clips. You'll see the hair. No, the liver <laughs> spots have been the it same, makes though. Its own they jokes. Have. That's because it's just a crippling melanoma. Oh. oh. It's okay. Wait. I can make wow. that joke because my dad had melanoma. Oh. Uh, that's how oh. I, have, I, don't, I have a melanoma pass. That's how it works. So, oh. yeah. It's very complicated. Praise that's con consistent. Uh, I think you might be surprised at some of the positions that Bernie Sanders has held. So let's start with this Vox interview from five years ago which is as um, unnerving as it is confusing because Ezra Klein has a job. And I sit there and I go, well, how did this happen? <laughs> yeah. But let's see what Bernie Sanders had to say about nationalism and immigration. Here you go. Sharply raising the level of immigration we permit, even up to, the, up to a level of open Advocate borders. About it. sharply uh, increasing open borders. Sharp. Open no, borders. That's, a, that's a Koch brothers proposal. The <laughs> really? idea, hmm? Of course. I mean, that's a right wing proposal which says even Ezra's like what? In the <laughs> but it, yeah. anybody it would make Excuse a lot me. of global poor richer, wouldn't it? <laughs> and it'd make everybody in America poor. Then you're doing away with, with the concept of a nation state. And I don't think there's any country in the world which believes in that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, if you had a DeLorean uh, uh, and you could fast forward to you five years from then, <laughs> yeah. and you were a representative of the country, I guess that would count. But otherwise, I see your point. <laughs> it's just everyone who's trying to get here doesn't believe in borders. Right. 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 Yeah, those yeah, are those yeah, people. Yeah. Oh, or, no, I think really it's it's people that wanted to get people here so that they will vote for them don't believe oh. in borders. Well, you know, you know what they It starts say, to go layers deep. Birds no. of a feather create an entirely new violent felon voting base. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. That old, who knows? That old adage. Prey. It doesn't fit on a bumper sticker as much as you From think From the sea. So, uh, <laughs> for a second here, let's, let's look at this, why this is important. The context is uh, Bernie's opposition, again, to immigration is partly based on nationalist ideas. Huh, oh, what? So, mm. let's ignore his socialist so solutions for a second. He's a self-avowed socialist. Right. Um, he is correct. He's not not wrong there. If you embrace this idea of open borders, you really are rejecting the idea of a nation state. Let's just say a nation, a country altogether. Mm. Yeah. And again, we are looking at a guy who is openly a socialist. So you combine it, you look at he's a socialist, and then this rhetoric yeah, is effectively right. those of a nationalist. So really, he's kind of, if you look, he's a nationalist socialist, which yeah. rings a bell. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, that's, that's it. Uh, uh, and I think the comparison is usually lazy. But if the mustache fits. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. In this case, which is does. so funny yes. to me because we've seen so many comparisons to Donald Trump, right? Yeah. And Nazis, or right. Republicans and Nazis. Uh, here's the thing. I hate Nazis. Yes. Can't stand. Bad guys. Dislike Nazis, which is no precisely why I support President Trump. Let me explain. <laughs> this is largely due to the fact that my primary gripe with the Nazis wasn't the nationalism, more so the socialism yeah. and the extermination There's of Jews. There's a few other things yeah. in there. Yeah. And, and by the way, That's we the both part. know that Donald Trump wouldn't be in either of those camps, as seen by the deregulation that you complain about, and his support for Israel, which is met by protests from today's left. So this is oh. one thing that's important, because some people will try and say, well, the nationalist part yeah. is what automatic is anti-Semitic. Well, then that would mean that Israel's nationalist policy is anti-Semitic. No, no, no. Nationalism is not discriminatory. It is not racist. It is believing in your nation, in first serving the people of your country, who you've, you've taken an oath to serve. <laughs> yeah. So when you say Donald Trump's a Nazi because he's nationalist, well, we know that you know nationalism doesn't have to include anti-Semitism because you are accusing Donald Trump of being a nationalist as well as being too pro-Jew. Mm. So it nullifies the <laughs> Nazi pretzel. comparison. So let's do that. I think everyone Difficult. should be free to say now, not white nationalist, not a racial supremacist national, just no. nationalism. You're a nationalist. That's fine. Do you believe that your nation is the greatest country in the face of the earth? Do you believe that the United States is better than, say, I don't know, Canada? 
You're a nationalist. <laughs> you and Bernie Sanders are both nationalists. You're just not the socialist part. Again, That's... my major gripe with the Nazis. Exactly. The socialism, the killing of the Jews, they went the wrong direction. Yeah, His point is you can't bring, you can't flood the country with unskilled workers because you will bring down wages for middle class Americans. Because middle class Americans are doing so well now, they've yeah. decided to migrate yeah. from discussing the economy to uh, Black Lives Matter and <laughs> pussy hats, I guess. <laughs> nice. There's the flip, here's the flop. More recently, Senator Sanders uh, has explicitly embraced the globalist model. When we talk about foreign policy, it is clear that there are some who believe that the United States that would be best served yes. by <laughs> yes. withdrawing from the global community. I disagree. Huh. As the wealthiest and most powerful nation on earth, we have got to help lead the struggle to defend and expand a rules-based international order in which law, not might, makes right. Uh, ring, ring. Hello, mm. Ezra Klein. I was full of sh <laughs> <laughs> and it's, hold on, it's not like we pulled a 1980s video of him. This was no. five, yeah, that was five years, years ago. Years ago. <laughs> <Not long laughs> ago. The president, yeah. And by, like, yeah, I do love this, the sash. It's yeah. like they couldn't put it on his shoulder. He's like, because he has yeah. no shoulder. He's like yeah. the Tootsie Roll owl, where it just goes straight <laughs> yeah. from his head. And I'm like, he's, like the, he's like the hawk neck challenge, yeah. right? Like his head stays <laughs> and his whole shoulders <laughs> are rolling. <laughs> What? <laughs> Don't know nothing about this. Okay. Uh, let's go back. I think we have another clip just again to drive home the context here. Uh, Bernie Sanders was very clear that his reason for opposing the idea of open borders was immigration's uh, net effect on American wages. If you believe in a nation state or in a country called the United States or UK or Denmark or any other country, you have Denmark. an obligation. I love how he always looks like he's performing a magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> he does. If you look closely, right wing people they won't know love is an open border. that I'm palming it. And all kinds of people <laughs> work for two or three dollars an hour. That would be great for them. I don't believe in that. I think we have to raise wages in this country. I think we have to do everything that we can to create the millions of jobs. You know what youth unemployment millions. in the United States of America today? If you're white, a white kid, high school graduate, 33%. A Hispanic, 36%. African-American, 51%. You think we should open the borders and bring in a lot of low-wage workers? Or do you think maybe we should try to get jobs for those kids? So I think from a moral responsibility, mm -hmm. we've got to do work with the rest of the industrialized world to, uh, the to address the problems of international poverty. But you don't do that by making people in this country even poorer. I mean, if hmm. that video huh. clip just existed on an island and I knew nothing else about Bernie at right. all, I kind of pulled the lever. No, uh, I mean, yeah, right? Plus, he's a pretty good magician. He's like, nothing up, nothing up my sleeves. I have a thumb tip. Look at that. Right. Come oh, oh, I, oh. I shove the handkerchief. It's a trick. <laughs> it's not real magic. Oh my gosh. Silver dollar. <laughs> Keep it's it for like, later. It's like Bernie kicked his own ass in this and clip. This is, this is, <laughs> this is by the way. <laughs> This is, it's, it's been consistent. He's been talking about this since the 70s, right? Complaining about yeah. immigrant workers driving down wages in yeah. Vermont. And uh, obviously he, he sees the solution differently, but essentially he is right when it comes to the problem. Bringing huge amounts of unskilled workers into the economy, generally speaking, and we can get into some microeconomics, it drives down wages of the American workers. That's, yeah. it's, it's simple it supply yeah. and demand. Now that was a flip. Here's the flop. Sanders has said now on day one of his presidency, and we contrast this with, I'm so glad we have these clips side by side. <laughs> uh, he would do away with any immigration detention centers and make a path to citizenship for every single last illegal immigrant in the United States. Day one, executive order, restore the legal status of 1.8 million young people in the DACA program. Day one, we change border policy so that Federal agents will never snatch babies from the arms of their mothers. Oh, Lord. Come on. Like that's happening. Day one. Day one. We introduced. We understand that it's day one, Bernie. <laughs> Still day one. Which will, in fact, be comprehensive, which will result in a path toward citizenship for all of the 11 million who are undocumented. Illegal. What about day oh, two? Yeah. Day of rest. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't got that far this yet. This day one, again, this, it, it, that's the flop. I don't, you let me know if you think it's remarkably consistent. We'll go no. to gun control here. This is one that a lot of people miss, but I didn't forget because I remember the previous Democratic debates where they all ogre, uh, argued over, I said ogre? I had a stroke. Ogre, yeah. They all argued over who had the lower rating from yeah, the NRA. I remember that. And everyone had an F, and they all jumped on Bernie because he only had a D minus. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
<laughs> he ruined the curve. And for he was so else. defensive. Like, wait, 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 wait. Let let me finish. <laughs> I'll do more. Ah, D minus is pretty good. Almost got it. <laughs> You're such a perfectionist an F. with your Fs, Bernie, and you're and doing everything on day uh, one. <laughs> Life's a marathon, not a sprint, Bernie. Mm. You should know that. Mm. So he had a pretty reasonably pro-gun record in Vermont. He voted yeah. against waiting periods uh, and background checks, by the way, for gun purchases. And he also voted to protect mm. gun companies from being sued by the victims of shootings. And he said this. He said, well, I don't think Surprise. that um, that mom and pop gun shops and or, or, or firearm manufacturers should be sued because somebody went out and committed some kind of a mass shooting. And by the way, something that's important to note, Vermont has some of the most permissive gun laws in the country. Up until recently, I think it just changed last year, you might know mm -hmm. this better than I do, uh, anyone over 16 could legally purchase any firearm with no delay, and they could open or conceal carry without any permit, effective immediately. Wow. It's like the Wild West. That's you buy awesome. that firearm in Vermont, you buy that firearm in Vermont, you walk out the store, you can carry it where you want it as long as you are a huh. law-abiding citizen. And so Bernie, being, you know, having worked, it, suckled at the government teat for all of 90 years in Vermont, this would have been, with a pretty low population, by the way, yeah. who tend to be very very liberal, he easily could have pushed some kind of gun control measures in Vermont. And he didn't need to start with anything like a magazine ban. He didn't need to start with anything radical. Just could have been, hey, like most states, even the conservative ones, will need some kind of a concealed carry permit process. Right. But he didn't. He never did. He was very pro-gun as uh, he, he, he led there legislatively in Vermont. Here's the flop. Let's compare that to the platform he's running on right now. We need to take on the NRA, expand background checks, end the gun show loophole, and ban the exist. sale and distribution of assault weapons. We don't have them. Bernie. By the way, I do love that, like, that's the one clip out of yeah. all the ones we've seen where it looks like finally a, a, a mom kitten went, like, Ugh, and put down his hair. <laughs> yeah. Like, geez, can we comb. go back to the previous yeah, one there? So yeah, you can yeah, see yeah. it? Can we and see this? Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. Look at that. He's like a uh, troll doll. He looks like he's Thomas Edison on, on light bulb 342. <laughs> <laughs> like, the one with power. I'll, I'll get my kite. I know, it's Benjamin Franklin, but you understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm merging them because he's an ass. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> on top yeah. of all That's that, no reason to merge. I need no more justification. That's historically inaccurate. <laughs> After criticism from Hillary Clinton, he then co-sponsored a bill to repeal protections for gun manufacturers. Oh, yeah. Right. So in other words, he was he's really looking for that F. He was for it before he was against he it. He really wants the F, though. Yeah. The same idea that he previously uh, had. Uh, I'm trying to go back and forth. It's like the inception of flip flops. Yeah. He was against the idea <laughs> right. of being able to yeah. sue gun. And then he right. support a bill he was for. The point is. Yeah. Not consistent. Oh if you God, add all this terrible. up from eight years ago, here's the thing. It's kind of crazy. I could kind of see some Republicans voting for him at that point. But again, my question to you is, is this indicative of a guy who's always been consistent? And something else, let's say for a second that that premise, uh, let's say had some truth to it, right? right. That he would, yeah. But doesn't that mean that you have someone who was a professional couch server who was never gainfully employed for his entire life? And if he didn't change any opinions by the time he's 98... <laughs> Doesn't that just mean that you haven't learned anything? You can't exactly. really have it both ways. Is consistency a good thing, or is the ability to change your mind and adapt a good thing? But he, it's a trick question, because he does neither of it. <laughs> hey, I hope you enjoyed this clip. If you don't, these are the ABCs of me, baby. You can just click next video and put it in double speed. Of course, search doesn't necessarily work. Subscriptions, notifications don't necessarily work. Just bookmark this page, check in. We do a new video every single day, except for Sunday. And if you don't want this content to disappear, join Mug Club at LiderWithCredit.com slash mug club. It's only $69 if you're a student, veteran, or active military. And um, if you don't, you know, listen, I, I don't want to say that you're hellbound, but it, it doesn't look good for you. <laughs>